What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. Today we are going to be rebuilding and upgrading the Turbo 400 for the 6.0 CUCV project. First thing we've got to do, get these transmission cooler lines off of the side of it, get the dipstick and fill tube pulled off, and then get it up onto our transmission stand to make it easier to work on this thing that'll also let us drain all the fluid out. Okay, so I mentioned in the previous videos, this was a perfectly functioning Turbo 400. The reason I'm getting this thing apart and I'm going to be upgrading it is because I'm switching it to a 6.0 engine as opposed to that old tired 6.2 diesel. I'm going to rev it twice as high as it's ever been revved. It's going to have at least double the amount of power coming through it that it's ever had before. Not to mention, I just want to have good firm shifts throughout the RPM range and, and feel like it's a performance transmission and not worry about it once it's in the truck. So I'm going to get the pan off, all the external pieces off, and then we'll start getting this thing uh, torn down and make sure everything inside looks good. I don't expect to find anything damaged or broken, but just because it worked doesn't mean everything inside is perfect. Most transmissions that I've worked on, you can get a pry bar, a screwdriver, something between the pump and the case right inside where the fluid is allowed to drain back down. So that's what we're going to do to pop this transmission pump, the front pump, up out of the case and lift it out. There we go. All right, I've got all of my external pieces off, transmission pan, uh, governor cover, and front pump. I, I'm gonna go ahead, taking these things apart is pretty self-explanatory. They'll only really come apart one way. So I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse, get all the pieces pulled out of this thing, and then we'll start cleaning up all the pieces and get to putting it back together. got everything out from the inside all the clutch assemblies I don't see anything visibly obviously wrong from the amount of wear in the check ball pockets I have a suspicion that either this is a higher mileage transmission from out of another vehicle that they put in for whatever reason or this is not the original gauge cluster or, or something like that Either way, it doesn't matter. I don't see anything obviously wrong. Uh, it's There's still a lot of filth, so I'm going to get this in the parts washer, get it all cleaned up, uh, and then I'll start going through the clutch packs, get those all cleaned up, washed off. I'll check all my thrust washers, make sure everything is good, install all new seals, and then I'll get started putting the uh, the shift kit into this thing. All right, so we've got it all cleaned up, ready for reassembly. 
Before I start sticking parts back in the case, I am going to hose it off with brake clean really quick. Uh, I like to do that just because brake clean evaporates really quickly and I know it'll flush anything that I may have missed or any parts washer solvent that's still in there out. Uh, and then we're going to start doing our shift kit and putting this thing back together. So clean.
much it for this for this episode this installment the transmission is beefed up it's ready to go i don't expect to have any issues with it i'm sure we'll have a lot of fun with it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something i didn't try to do less talking and more just doing this time so hopefully i'll be able to fit the whole process in um yeah, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any updates on this project. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.